Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We appreciate you joining us for this conversation we're going to have about a story that is just now published on our website, kxan.com. Here's the headline right here. It reads, Energy drinks show damaging effects on young adults. Multiple studies show. The reporter behind this is joining me today to talk more about what she uncovered. So please welcome in Jasmine Palacios. Jasmine, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, this is such an interesting story because uh, those of us here in the newsroom, uh, we are big fans of caffeine. Uh, There are some people in here uh, just among our coworkers that drink energy drinks, but I'm imagining that may be what inspired you to mm-hmm. kind of look into this. Talk about how you got started on this. For sure. That's that's honestly exactly what inspired it. Um, but this is even more with college students. Um, I'm a college student myself, so it's honestly rare if you don't see someone like having some type of caffeine, whether that be in the classroom, a coffee shop, or just anywhere around campus. That's kind of what stemmed it. And it honestly started me and my fellow college students, we were just talking. We were like, there's definitely going to be some long-term effect on this. We, we're, <laughs> there's definitely some negative of this. Like, And they were like, we don't really know. We hear adults always tell us, but we don't really know the details of that. And that's what I wanted to really understand and grasp better. And I won't lie, if I'm being honest right now on live, about a year ago during this time, I was... I was drinking them probably now with this gained knowledge of mine more than I should have been Mm. um, drinking energy drinks like crazy. And I think especially with young adults, it's just become more of like a trend and um, just become more of a common thing, which I think can bring in a lot of conversation and what kind of stunned me into wanting to understand more and write this story. Yeah. So you have this interest, this personal interest in and how it's affecting and what you're seeing uh, among even your friends and classmates. So... You went a step further uh, and found a study that actually looked into some of the effects, particularly on young people. Let's just talk about maybe what some of those most fascinating parts of that study showed you. Right. So earlier this year on February um, from a university in Norway actually Hmm. showed that it had long term like sleeping effects and that people who drank energy drinks, specifically young adults, struggled with like the ability to sleep or to struggle to wake up during the middle of the sleep and just overall like bad effects when it comes to sleeping so that was the biggest thing that was a newer study that came out only this year of just sleeping effects that people have and I think um as y'all read the story and as I uncovered there was a lot more like maybe sleeping is more effective to your overall health than the energy drinks that are trying to prevent the sleep so yeah, that's kind of what I discovered recently. And you and I had talked before we got started with our live stream about also the effect on grades that it had on some mm. people. What did the study show with that? Yeah, so it wasn't a this happens if you drink energy drinks, this is going to happen. But there was a correlation that I learned from some UT experts that showed that a lower GPA was associated with drinking energy drinks, which is crazy because I think for me personally, I'm thinking, oh, I need to drink energy drinks so I can stay alive, so I can get through all my school. But it might not even be a positive for um, being um, as having greater academic achievement. Part of that uh, study that you mentioned there that came from that uh, Norwegian university uh, showed a breakdown of what kind of drinks are most popular with Mm. young people. And this graphic that you see right here, I know it is small, everybody, though, but you can look at this much more closely on Jasmine's story on our website there. But talk to us about what we're seeing here. Yeah, so this shows the caffeine consumption amongst common drinks because I think a lot of us don't really know the kind of caffeine we're intaking every day. So this just gives like a better understanding so that we can all together understand how much we're really drinking every single day. Um, And yeah, and just it's not to say like cut off the caffeine, do any of that. And none of the experts were saying that, but everything in moderation and that this 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 graph here is just shows that and just helps us, you know, just have a better, healthier lifestyle overall. Yeah, being more mindful about what we're consuming, too. Right. As you were doing this, uh, this story and looking into this in a much more in-depth way, uh, did you find any kinds of alternatives that people or experts suggested uh, to maybe substitute for some of these energy drinks? Oh, for sure. Definitely. There was tea and coffee because here's the thing with energy drinks from what we were understanding Energy drinks, what they have, they have limited amount of research compared to coffee and tea that has been around much longer. So with this limited research, that means, oh, now we don't know how much caffeine um, 
sorry, people are really, um, how much the negative effect that it truly does have and what they have to understand is that coffee actually has a lot of positives and tea also can have a lot of positives but what they're seeing with energy drinks is that it's either a neutral or a negative effect right now and therefore a lot of the experts are like let's take the caution of like if there's no positive let's not overly drink this and truly drink this in moderation because we don't know everything so yeah and you had, had a chance to speak to some of the researchers at UT Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, they did not do this particular study that you had found and highlighted in your story, but I'm sure that they were not too surprised by what this study uncovered, right? Right. No, they were not surprised at all. Okay. They, were, they were very much like, yep, um, this is college students right now. This is what they're experiencing. And um, honestly, they were saying like, this isn't just an energy drink problem. This is an overall health problem for college students because what they all what else they found was drinking energy drinks can also help lose an appetite and then not being able to eat as much means that you're not eating the proper nutrients that you're supposed to be eating in your day to day and therefore your overall health is being affected and that can be really hard especially as a college student who's doing so many different things and is worrying about so much school but if their physical health and how they are feeling mentally is not okay then like that can hinder everything so they said it's it's, it's even a deeper issue than the energy drinks but the energy drink kind of stems from it because then it goes to lack of sleep then lack of eating right and so many things like a ripple effect that can come just from drinking a, a, a crazy amount of energy drinks. Hmm. Again, mindful consumption is maybe the biggest takeaway from this in, in some ways, and maybe that's something that people at home who are watching can take away from it mm -hmm. too. Uh, anything else that popped out uh, about maybe what research might come into the future? Did your reporting show you any kind of path that they were trying to follow to keep up this uh, studying of the effects of energy drinks? Yeah, they, they said the craziest thing was, they don't know. They really don't know everything that's in the ingredients, that, mm. that, which is like can be a caution. And that kind of brings up the conversation I had with somebody that I wrote in my story. Her name was Taya. She goes to Texas State and she drinks energy drinks regularly. That is up until recently, she drank an energy drink like she did and she started to feel super sick, super nauseous and super fatigued. And she was so confused. So for now, she's not going to be drinking energy because she doesn't know what this effect could be. And I talked to experts about this, that her and other students like this, like have experienced this. And they were saying like, truly, we do not know all the ingredients and all these new energy drinks that are seem to be coming out like once every year like different different brands so they said like we don't know all the ingredients and we don't know that full long-term effect yet so for there like let's take caution now um because also if like people are like i want to prioritize my health i want it to be the best it can be then from what these experts are saying like maybe energy drink shouldn't be in your day-to-day -day at all all right well we will lead the conversation there, but I would hope that everybody who has been listening to Jasmine speaking about her story, you can check it out right now on our website. Again, there is the headline. It's right on our homepage at kxan.com. If you'd like to read it, I will direct you there. But Jasmine, before I let you go, um, I would be remiss not to mention that um, you are a UT student uh, just yes. down the street from here at KXAN uh, studying journalism, and you are in your senior year. So I'm wondering, what's your future look like? What would you like it to include? Yes. Um, well, I want to continue reporting about things like this, honestly, because I think it's super important. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm a second year senior, so super strange. Um, so uh, technically I'm a sophomore, but I'll be walking. Um, I'll be walking this Friday. This Friday at graduation. <laughs> Super excited about that. And then I have a few summer classes. But from there, I'll be being a media reporter in Houston for like a media company starting in the start of July. So I'm really excited about that and getting to be back in my hometown city very soon. So yep. That is so exciting. Yes. I, I was unaware about the job, so congratulations yeah. on that and so for graduating much. on Friday. My goodness, that's, that's a huge deal. So soon, yes. Yeah. I'm so excited. Well, Jasmine, we've appreciated you being with us um, here at KXA in the last uh, semester or so and for giving us this story today and talking about it. So we appreciate that and good luck with all the great things that are to come. Thank you so much, Will. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, everybody. That is Jasmine Palacios. Remember that name. I'm Will Dupree <laughs> here in the KXA Live Studio. We will see you back here at another time. Hope you all stay safe and healthy out there. Take care.